What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's going to be another video of me flapping my jaws for half the time, unfortunately. Um, quick little recaps. Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, Richie Brothers was Thursday and Friday. I did not get anything. Um, it's not that there weren't any good deals to be had, but um, just the way that Richie Brothers works, being, uh, you know, a lot of the, I've gone over this before, but a lot of the stuff that goes to Richie Brothers goes there because it's broken or there's some issue with it or it's fancied up, paint over the bird shit in the leaves just to get it, you know, looking good in pictures to so some idiot overseas buys it. Um, whereas most of the stuff that I buy comes from fleet sales where more often than not, and I can say this because I've bought a lot of them, some truck goes in, has a bad motor, dealership puts a long block in it, they put 5,000 miles on it over the next four months, and then some bean counter decides that, oh, nope, hit the mileage or the year cap, and they got to send it to auction, and that $15,000 repair bill nets them a truck that they get nine grand out of instead of just sending it as it is, blown up. But bad for them, good for me. It's just the way that these big companies do things. It's just kind of a brainless zombie corporation stuff. But um, Richie Brothers isn't like that. A lot of the stuff goes there for a reason. So unless there is a screaming deal or I had a chance to really, really look over something, I typically don't. Didn't get any skid steers, didn't get any anything. And that suits me just fine because that auction is not that far away, but it is zero highway the entire time. It's just two lane roads. There are a bunch of tiny towns and everybody likes to mess with you and play with DOT stuff. And that's, unless they have a really, really good reason to be going there, I don't. Um, this past Saturday, however, was that small little on-site only, no online bidding, like uh, lawn and uh, turf auction. And I bought a ton of stuff. I think I'll probably end up filling a 40-foot uh, gooseneck. So I'm going to take the dually with the gooseneck down and head there. Um, so that'll be fun. I unfortunately did not get any video of that sale because it was in the low 30s and just this rain sleet mist all day and uh, I'm eventually going to need to buy like a GoPro or something like that so I can do it in the crappy weather but I'm doing all this right now on an iPhone and I don't really feel like messing up the phone so that one is what it is I'll get video of picking everything up and dropping it off. I'm gonna end up actually consigning a lot of it with another auction company that has online bidding, which if my hunch is correct, should pretty much be able to pass all this stuff through without really doing much work to it. And just the fact that there's nationwide eyes that can be on it, I will make my money. So, that is the plan there. Um, I have some screen record footage that I'm gonna throw up here now, and uh, we can go over the Ritchie Brothers prices. So, catch you in a second. All right, so that Tahoe went for crazy money. These LMLs weren't bad, 22.5 and 24 respectively. Um, it's good to see the 6.7 markets kind of normalizing after the whole COVID bubble. Uh, these 15 plus Chevy gassers were bringing pretty solid money in my opinion. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, these red trucks that we looked at. This is why you go look at stuff in person. You'll see this one brought 8,000. This is the one that started like crap and had 200 on it. For an extra 500 bucks, you could save 50,000 miles, a bunch of rust, and it started and ran amazing. Aluma Duty for 17. This one was beat and had an engine noise. Uh, bed was all tore up at military grade aluminum. Here's the Rangers. Um, too much for me. Four grand, twenty two hundred. I think the third one brought two thousand bucks, and I I was getting them cheaper before COVID, which that's not fair. But bought it was bidding on that trailer, ran that to like fifty five hundred or so. Watched this stuff just out of curiosity, but this is the type of 
items that I was buying at that sale on Saturday, uh, the live one. So uh, I didn't really feel the need to go there and pay a hefty buyer premium when the sale on Saturday was in person and uh, no premium. That Kenworth was sweet. It had like 19,000 original miles. Uh, this 92 white GMC lot 583, I ran that to like three grand, but I still don't have a CDL, so I had to figure out how to get it home. What else we got? Some other decent deals scattered throughout here. The pickups always bring big money. This stuff that runs live usually goes a lot more fair. Uh, flatbeds, flatbeds. Uh, that green 6.0 came from an auction out east. It was funny. It must have had problems. Somebody brought it here and then kicked it back to another sale. Decent, decent. There's some green 08 to 10 Fords coming up here. Those were fair, but they, uh, they were just beat to heck 1500 bucks not bad for a running and driving truck and then those six o's were cheap too and had like 80 to 100 thousand on them look at this gem i really do well on these rangers and i've never had one with 55,000 original miles and actually just saw that it's a municipal truck that's huge that helps a ton with the value it's got a lot of dings and little dents here in the bed rails so i might try and find like a topper or a tonneau cover to throw on here just to kind of pretty it up a little bit but man is this thing sweet this truck will do really well this is that ranger i think i mentioned it previously in a video i bought it uh, down just west of Indianapolis. Um, was going to go pick it up myself and then threw it on U-Ship just for the heck of it. And uh, for about $130 more than my cost of round-trip fuel, let alone the day of driving and aggravation, I had a hauler come and bring it to me. So it arrived on Friday night late. Um, make a video cleaning it up and the shifters kind of messed up. So uh, maybe do a little bit of mechanical work on it too and just get it 100%. So that's it for now. Uh, again, thank you everybody for watching. Um, you could like these videos, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it. Uh, it doesn't cost you guys anything and it helps me see what everybody likes and dislikes. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.